So the Sam Sharp Lectures are this action that we're talking about. We come together and we are creating content and resources in places where our voices aren't heard, where we're underrepresented. We don't just get together and talk amongst ourselves and go home. It's creating content. We are mobilising one another. We're encouraging and we're teaching one another. And it's the kind of action that sets other Sam Sharps up teaches us, encourages us, empowers us and I think the support, we just need continual support. We need people to attend, we need people to fund, we need people to pay attention because in a hundred years we are the content, we are the voice, we are the resource that black people, people of colour, our allies, our brothers and sisters are going to need. In my opinion the lectures are about challenging negative norms so people should attend these lectures to try and challenge, to learn how to challenge the injustices in society like the workplace. So in general I think the lectures are a really beneficial thing to attend. Among those who bore the brunt of British terrorism in the Caribbean were enslaved women who had no choice but to resist the repression of African enslavement and many of whom must be regarded as soldiers in Sam Sharp's army an abolitionist in the cause of emancipation. We in the reparation movement have decided not to live in hopelessness. Tonight was a very powerful event right here at Imperial College. Uh, the event itself uh, was anchored by Professor Verine Shepherd's uh, wonderful uh, lecture that really gave us insight into the role women played in this in the struggle against enslavement so coming to uh, this lecture tonight um, it was very it was very valuable an experience um, that I would never forget it was heartwarming as well because um, you don't really get enough of this kind of information or nuggets um, even growing up in school well I must admit I was totally amazed by Professor Shepherd's lecture. It was um, moving, it was compelling, it was rewarding. Um, I learned so much myself and I have looked into reparations and the slave trade. Born in a wretched regime of slavery, lived with a redemptive spirit of bravery, died with honor, contributing to our liberty. Jamaican icon, spiritual phenomenon, world leader, dedicated reader. So today, we have a testimony of his contribution to our liberty from the odious and revolting tyranny of transatlantic slavery. Wake up, like some sharp we must be well read because all our faith without works is still just dead. So in their honor, I ask you to rise and join me as I call their names and keep them in our hearts and be proud that we, their descendants, are alive today to argue their causes in the interest of justice.